Okay, well, we're up to the part I'm doing my drums for rudimental. What we're going to do first is we're going to do this. We're going to highlight this. Click on View, Configure Track Header, and we're going to select Protect. Click Done. Then I'm going to click this lock icon right here, which says Track Protect. What this does, this will allow me from accidentally deleting this, pressing Delete, or also moving the file across. So this is basically locked to the grid in Logic. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close global tracks, close that view. Once I've done that, I'm going to fast forward to where the drums come in. So the drums come in at bar 13. Now I'm going to find where the snack also comes in. So the snare comes in and it's got a little sound effect which we'll add later. So you can hear it, kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare. So you can hear that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in two virtual instruments. To do this you click plus on this, on this plus icon, click software instrument, I'm going to type in two. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to delete this track here and then I'm going to do track new with duplicate setting. So this it creates two empty instrument tracks. Next we're going to click on here. We're going to select EXS24, go stereo. Click on where there's little three dashes. I'm going to go to drum percussion, electron drum kits and select EXS808. And we're going to hit the C note, which is the furthest note on your left, which is right at the bottom of the keyboard. And that's the kick drum for this song here. So on the song, you can hear that this is sort of like a drum loop, but we're going to actually play this drum loop in on the keyboard, and we're also going to record uh, a drum kit on this also. So this is the drum loop we're going to play in. Trying to find my way somewhere. And also on top of the drum, it has a layer of drums on there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with a kick drum on here. And find out what it comes in. And it comes in bar 13. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record this. I'm going to hide this window by clicking this. I'm going to just record it. So what I'm doing is recording a 4 bar loop, so I'll record this 4 bar loop, so right here this is 1 bar, this is 2 bar, this is 3 bar, this is 4 bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this or just trim it back by selecting here and going right up to the section. So this is a 4 bar loop, 1, 2, 3, 4. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this, double click it, I'm going to minimize it. Uh, I'm going to click on media so you can see it zoomed in. And then I'm also going to maximize it. So, on here, we can see that this is slightly out. So, my timing is a little bit ahead, a little bit behind, a um, little bit behind. What we're going to do is we're going to highlight this by selecting Command A or Apple A. So, this will select all the regions in here. I'm going to select eighth note. And when I do this, this will move all those blocks in line. What I want to do is I'm just going to play this loop and highlight this, or we can highlight down below to have it on, and listen to make sure that this is in time. I don't do yoga, never try Pilates. Not many people want me at their party. So that's fine. So the next thing I want to do is I want to load up, click on Inspector, and now I'm going to load up ECS24 on here. Click zero. And then we're going to go to percussion, acoustic kits, and I want to select, say, a rock kit. And all we're going to do, use this from here, is just a snare drum. 
I'm going to put a filter on it. What I'm going to do is going to loop this um, kick drum here. And I'm going to click the cycle button. Zoom out by holding down control option and cursor keys. Or the arrow keys. And I'm just going to copy this across. So I think this drum loop lasts the whole song, so I'm just going to copy it right across. And then if some parts of the song doesn't need it, I'll just delete them. So for now, I'm just going to copy all these across. And the way I'm doing this is holding down Option, clicking and dragging. So I'm holding Option and clicking and dragging to copy this across. I'm just going to stop it there. So now this is a kick drum for this whole song. So that's uh, my kick drum. That's original. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a snare now. So you can hear a snare coming in here. Kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare. When we're doing drums, we'll do the main bits. The kick and the snare. Followed by the hi-hat, then followed by our drum fills. So what we're going to do is a snare now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Mixer. I'm going to click on the next channel, down here. Go to XS24, Stereo, Load Up, Drums Percussion, Acoustic, Rock Kit. And the snare is the next note next to C, which is D, over here. So I'm going to close this window. And have us to where the drums coming. So the drums coming in on bar 21 thing and I'll record a four bar loop of drums. So I'm gonna record here is now the snare part. So that's my four bar drum loop. I'm gonna do the same thing, double click, make sure how great my timing is which is pretty bad. So you can see these should be play a little bit on, on the screen, so a little bit ahead. So I'm do the same thing. Oops. Zooming in, pressing Command A. That'll select it all, and then select the eighth note. And then hide this. And I'm gonna just loop this section here and have a listen. That's my kick and snare drum now. So what I'm going to do is pretty much do the same thing, copy it all across, and then I'll just delete the parts where there's no snare within the song. So I'm just going to do a copy of this, hold down option, click and drag. So I'm sort of doubling up so it's a little bit quicker. Do it right to the end of the song. And the remainder over here, I don't need because that's where the song finishes. So once I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute these two tracks that I've just played and listen to the original recording to find out where the snare drops out. So the snare drops out around about bar 69. But you'll have to find and listen to the other parts where the snare comes in and comes out. Bar 69 onwards to 77 is the obvious one. So there's no snare around here. So what I want to do is I want to highlight this, this, delete those parts. This part also has no snare. And this part also has no snare either. And then the snare comes back in on 8 bar 85. For the song, I think I've asked everyone just to go up to bar 93. So what I'm going to do is just going to delete all of this because the rest of this is pretty much repeated. And we haven't really beat them out for the rest of it because it's pretty repetitive. So this is just an exercise we're going to do the whole song right from here up to here, turning all the instruments. So what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate this track and we're going to find. 
this egg shaker sound. You'll hear it. You'll hear it around about 5.57. can hear a little egg shaker. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to record that. I'm going to play it in. I'm going to press highlight this, 57. I'm going to zoom in and we're just going to do one bar. So that's not even one bar, that's four bars. I highlight that. I'm going to play the egg shaker and the egg shaker note is an A which is three A's above from your left hand side going up keyboard which is around about the middle of the keyboard. And I'll record this. And it'll sound pretty bad. So I'll just do that again. So what I've done is I'll record it. I'm going to double click it. What I want to do is I'm going to delete most of this. I want to do it the easy way. I want to draw it all in so it's going to be a lot easier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this right to the start of this bar. I'm going to highlight this and put this to every 8th note. So on here, this is every 8th note and this is each beat. Beat 1, beat 2, beat 3, beat 4. You can see it 5. 57.2, 57.3, 57.4 are your quarter notes and these are all the 8th notes I'm going to make. I'm going to just copy all those across. So this is my one bar shaker pattern. And I want to just going to mute this, so I'm going to have a listen. And it doesn't sound real because we don't have the accents. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put accents on the start of each bit. I'm going to highlight these, hold down shift, highlight that. Next one I'm going to do is press escape and select the velocity tool. The velocity tool makes this play a little bit louder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and drag my mouse up and down. Up is to make it stronger. It's going to make it a light pinkish color. And then we'll select the eighth notes in between. And then drag it up. But probably to an orange color. Now I'm going to play it. So it sounds like an eighth note now. So I want to have a listen to our drum kit. And next I'm going to do is I'm going to unmute this and have a listen with this to the original. So it sounds pretty good. So what I want to do is I'm going to have a listen again and paste it to where that shaker comes in within the song. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go right to the start of the song and have a listen to when the shaker comes in. Does it come in there? comes in about bar 29. Yeah, it comes in about bar 29, so you can listen 25. No shaker. 29. It's very faint in the background, so I'm going to copy this. Hold on option, click and drag. Whoops, wrong. Track, do it again. I like this, click and drag drag, do the same thing that we did before, and then delete it where it doesn't come in on the arrangement. Okay. Let's delete this one. And let's have a listen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to meet these tracks and have a listen to where the shaker comes in. Shaker. Shaker drops out around here. So I'm delete these. If you ask the church, then you no believer. Spend some days asleep. I'm just another dreamer. Still trying to find my home, sweet home. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. So I 
doesn't come back in yet for a while. Because it sounds like it comes in on the choruses only. So it only comes back, comes back in on the choruses. So what I want to do is to listen to all the parts to get these three parts of when uh, the kick, snare and the hi-hat hi and the shaker comes in. And this is what it should sound like at the very end. So I'll quickly do this and this is what it should sound like before we even get up to the drum rolls. So once it's done, it should look similar to this. What we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate the track again, new duplicate setting, and we're going to work out where the tom rolls come in. The tom rolls are on the notes F, G and A. And we'll listen to where the drum rolls are played within the song. The tom rolls come in at the end of bar 28. So I'm going to zoom in on here. So they come in right around here, this section here. So I'm going to have a listen. So you can hear a drum tom's going building up. Around this section, I'll play it along with the music. I'll turn the original music down so you can have a listen. And it comes in right about here, like this. Into the chorus. So I'll have a solo on this, and I'll turn it up. And just have a listen so you can have a So this section here. So you can hear Tom's just coming around there, so that's what I'm going to do is just sequence those parts in. And I'm going to record it from bar 25, just to get the feeling to come in. So there's these few notes, so I'm going to double click this. And do the same, select eighth notes, and then have a listen from bar 27. So we've got the little tom rolls coming in the chorus. So that should probably also happen at every chorus coming in with a shaker. So around about here. And also here. Because basically, any drum rolls or tom rolls always come in to initiate a verse or a chorus in the song. But just for learning, I would have liked for you to actually listen to see if there's any other ones. So I've purposely done it up to here. So have a listen to and um, kind of paste where you think those tom rolls need to be.